Bringing you the latest on COVID-19 and the Omicron variant, and, uh, and still, of course, it's a mystery. Uh, scientists are still taking a, a lot of time to make sure they know exactly what risk this is to all of us. But it's arrival during the holidays. It's impacting travel. So we want to bring in travel journalist Peter Greenberg to kind of break some of these new bans, travel bans down. Uh, what would be changing in air travel because of the Omicron variant? Well, it's going to be a very busy day today. Later today, President Biden will be making some of those announcements. We have a mask mandate decision date for January 18th. He's going to preempt that and more than likely announce that you'll continue to have to wear masks on airlines and public transportation through March. That's number one. We're seeing airlines now starting to cut back service to Africa, to Europe, uh, to the Middle East, and to Asia. Remember, Israel's now locked down for the next two weeks. Japan has told airlines not to take any further reservations for at least two weeks in terms of their passengers. And then, of course, in Europe, the legendary Christmas markets are being shut down in places like Austria and Prague uh, and, and maybe even in Munich. Uh, and that's really what we're seeing right now in terms of the actual shift in, in, in airlines trying to make sure that their schedules are adapting to this. This has to be a financial uh, detriment to anyone in the travel industry right now. I mean, to consider that flights are going to be banned, so they're not going to get that business. And then, like you mentioned, the Christmas markets that are famous. And, and I'm sure a lot of people are anticipating this time of year because of the availability of the vaccine. Uh, what kind of hit are we going to see here financially? Well, you'd be surprised because a lot of the people who had plans are not necessarily canceling them. They're changing their destination. They tried to learn from the last year and a half of how to, how to do that. And so you're seeing more people changing destination than outright cancellation of trips entirely. That's number one. Number two is we've changed the landscape in terms of airline refunds. Uh, you know, the, the, the U.S. Department of Transportation came down hard on airlines that refused to give refunds during COVID. Now those airlines are giving refunds. The airlines in the United States got rid of those draconian ticket change fees. So people can now book with confidence knowing that if they do have to cancel or if their flight is canceled, they're not going to lose their money. So you're saying that because of this Omicron variant, again, a lot of flights will be either rescheduled or rerouted. Uh, people will choose to go to different places. Will people be able to get a refund for sure if their flight has changed because of Omicron? If you're flying on a U.S. carrier, the answer is yes. Okay. Uh, it's not necessarily a refund, but it's a travel credit that actually goes into your bank. So you're not going to lose your ticket value. Now, you've been obviously covering travel all throughout this pandemic. Is it surprising to you? Uh, obviously, Omicron is something that a lot of countries are responding to proactively. But is it surprising to you, considering the low number of cases that have been discovered across the country and across the world? Well, you know, if you take a look at the anecdotal information, of course, it's not scientifically proven yet. Uh, what the vaccines have done is that they've taken death off the table for most travelers if they've been vaccinated. Uh, you're seeing an increase in hospitalizations all around the world. Germany is spiking, Austria is spiking, in the U.S. it's spiking. But if you take a look at who's being hospitalized, it's the folks who are not vaccinated. And the reason why uh, President Biden's going to extend that mask mandate today is because until we have a better percentage of vaccinations in this country, that's why they're going to have that mask. Interestingly enough, the administration is also considering doing something that the Canadians have already done, saying that you cannot make an airline reservation unless you can show proof of, of vaccination in this country. That probably won't fly today because some of it's so much caught up in litigation, but at least they're considering it. And the other thing they're going to change, at least that's what I'm hearing, is that right now, if you're, if you're returning to the United States, you have to have a negative COVID-19 test within 72 hours of your departure time back to the U.S. That may change today to a 24-hour window. All right. Good information, as always. Peter Greenberg, good to see you. Thank you. Got it, Adrian. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.